Hello everyone. Now, I get asked on an almost daily basis, how do you do your Portal 2 voices? Like the turrets, the cores, GLaDOS, the defective turret, etc. And I actually did make a video a couple of years ago showing how to do this, but yeah, it was pretty crap, to be honest. So, you know, I figured I'd go back and remake it, make it slightly clearer, more informative, and I've actually picked up a few tricks since then, which will hopefully give better results. So let's uh, go straight in. To do this, you're gonna need three things. One, a decent microphone. By decent, I mean something like a studio condenser microphone. Um, because you know, cheaper microphones or headset microphones generally pick up a lot of background noise. They have a lot of hiss and fuzz and when we do the auto-tuning stuff, we really need the cleanest recording we can get. So, yeah. If you really need a microphone, I can highly recommend an Audio-Technica AT2020. It's relatively cheap. It's about £80 new, I think. Uh, which is, what, roughly $140. And that's pretty damn cheap, considering the quality of it. And... You know, considering some microphones cost upwards of 10 grand, it's a bit of a bargain. And I actually had one for many years before this, which is basically its older brother, and it served me very well. Uh, most of my older videos were recorded with it. Uh, this is, if you're curious, this is the AT4033A, which is basically a slightly more professional model of it. It's also handy to have a pop shield, because without it, you get a lot of plosive sounds and stuff. I don't know if they actually picked it up, but... Eh. So once you have a microphone, you're obviously going to need some software to record with. And honestly, all I recommend is Audacity. It's completely 100% free. You can record, cut, edit, do all kinds of filters and effects. And generally, it's just an amazing program, considering it's free. And I use it on an almost daily basis for all my basic editing needs. And lastly, you're going to need Melodyne Studio. This is where the magic happens. It's basically an auto-tuning software where you can edit pitches and formants and generally turn voices into robotic style things. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm actually using Melodyne Studio 3, which I've had for about six years now, I think. So it's pretty old, and I'm pretty sure there are newer versions, but hopefully the methods still are the same. If not, I apologize in advance. This is all useless. Um, hmm. So now that you have all that, you can actually start recording voices. So I'm just going to quickly rattle through a couple of the voices to give you an idea of how they sound before they're edited. Uh, we're going to start with GLaDOS, I guess. Now, I'm a guy. You might have noticed. Um, so my female voice is not brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, GLaDOS is one of my shaky voices. I can sometimes do it somewhat passably. So this will be interesting. I'm just going to Go ahead and do it. <clears throat> oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Still, I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. Oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Still... I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. Eh. Like I say, it's shaky, and hopefully with editing it will be somewhat passable. Um, next to turrets, I guess, which are basically the same, they just, you know... <coughs> are you still there? There you are. Shutting down. I don't blame you. Sentry mode activated. Ay 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 Are you still there? There you are. Shutting down. I don't blame you. Sentry mode activated. Ay 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 ay
Uh, defective turrets. This is an interesting one. I have to hold my throat and do an American accent, and it sounds kind of like this. <laughs> I'm a bad man. <clears throat> okay, so. Ah, crap. You, uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? Bang. Ah, crap. Shooting blanks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh dear, that is not good for my throat. <clears throat> you can't fire me. I quit. You uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? Dang. Ah crap. Shooting blanks all the time. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh dear, that is not good for my throat. <clears throat> you can't fire me. I quit. Uh, the announcer. Let me just grab some lines. <clears throat> Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1, 1. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. And finally, let's do Fact Core and Space Core. Now these actually hold my throat again. Um, hmm. Let me think of some lines. Fact, you are about to get us killed. The first person to discover that cow's milk was drinkable was very, very thirsty. Fact, you are about to get us killed. The first person to discover that cow's milk was drinkable was very, very thirsty. What's your favorite thing about space? Mine's space. Space cops, here comes space cops. Guilty of being in space. Dad, are you space? Yes, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> oh boy. Space, space. What's your favorite thing about space? Mine's space. Space cops, here comes space cops. Guilty of being in space. Dad. Yes, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> oh boy. Space, space. Okay, so we have the lines. Now let's go ahead and start editing these bad boys. Okay, so here we are in Audacity. I've just opened up the entire recording session I did in front of the microphone. And basically all we're going to do now is go through all of the takes. So this is the GLaDOS take. Oh, it's you. And yeah, you know, the beauty of editing is that we can choose certain words or sentences and we can delete the rest that are crap. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through and do that right now. For science, you monster. Eh. Like I say, it's shaky. Okay, so that's the best take. And because GLaDOS is a robot, uh, we obviously want to remove as many breaths and uh, the human sounds as we can. So if you ever if you find any, you can select them and then click the silence audio button. There's multiple ways of doing it. Or well, you can go to generate silence, but yeah, and that will just silence that little bit of audio. So now there's no breath there. Okay, so all of this is the GLaDOS stuff pretty much finished. So I'm going to select it all and press Control I, and this basically segments it. So now I just I know that these are the GLaDOS lines. Next, turrets. Um, next to turrets, I guess. Are you still there? Are you still there? Okay, so here are all of the vocal takes, so there's GLaDOS, turrets, etc. But before we export, let's do a quick noise reduction. So all you have to do is find a quiet section with noise. Perfect. Go to Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile. 
and oh, since I've segmented it, I'm going to do it one by one. Go to noise reduction. Uh, these are the settings I use. I'm actually going to turn it down slightly. So that should be a decent reduction. And then OK. And then I'm going to select that one. Repeat this one. Repeat. And finally, the GLaDOS one looks really quiet. So I'm just going to select that. Go to Effect Compressor. And uh, I guess that'll do. Okay, just to raise it all up slightly. I'll do the same for the turrets. Uh, and that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to export each one separately. So I'll select the GLaDOS, export selected audio, and I'll call this GLaDOS RAW. And then delete that. Select turret, turret, raw. Okay, so now they're all exported. Here they are, they're all lovely. Let's start with turret. We're gonna just go select it, open with Melodyne 3.1. Yep, use custom, whatever. So, this is what Melodyne looks like. Uh, first of all, we're going to set this to smooth, and for the turrets, we want to turn the formant correction down slightly. This is especially important if you're a male. Uh, usually I just hover my mouse over it and uh, scroll the mouse wheel down twice, so it's two notches down. And now we're going to go to Edit Pitch, Control A to select everything, and then double click, and they'll all shift to their nearest note. Um, this is off so I'll just put that back. And right now it will sound exactly the same if I play it. Are you still there? There you are. Shutting down. Kind of okay, so now to make it sound robotic we're gonna click and drag on that, go down to pitch modulation, control A to select all again, and if we double click on any of them it will flatten the pitch modulation. And this is how it sounds. Are you still there? There you are. Shutting down. I don't blame you. Sentry mode activated. There you go. So it's already sounding pretty robotic. But the turrets actually do have a little bit of human tone. So what we're going to do is with it flat, we're just going to click and drag on one of them up slightly. And as you can see, it brings back the pitch modulation so we're just going to bring a little bit back and next we want to go to edit formant and we're just going to drag that up by hmm, turrets I say three notes usually and if we play this it should sound kind of turrety are you still there there you are shutting down I don't blame you sounded kind of glad see there uh, let's flatten the pitch slightly again, just make it even more robotic. And edit pitch, and we're going to drag everything up by... Hmm. Let's try an octave, so it's A, B. Let's drag it yep. all the way up to A. Are you still there? There, there you go, and it's kind of there. Are you still there? There you are. Shutting down. I don't blame you. Sentry mode activated. So there you go. I mean, the the settings. It's all about balancing with your voice, your recording environment, and microphone. You know, it, it kind of varies. Um, but once that's done, we can go save audio. Uh, I'll keep it as my. 96 kilohertz, and we'll save this as turret mellow. Wav. And if we open that in Audacity again, I have the levels really quiet because I'm previewing it while I talk to you. It should sound. Are you still there? There you are. Shutting down. I don't blame you. Sentry mode activated. 
And there you go, that's turret. So next, let's do announcer. Do something slightly different. Um, for the announcer, I believe we leave this on crisp. Again, we select edit pitch, select everything, double click to snap everything to the nearest notes. Um, pitch modulation. Uh, you want to click and drag up to extend the modulation slightly. And I'm going to drag all of the notes down by... That should do it. And let's hear that. Good morning. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Fifth. Okay, it's close. Pitch modulation. Let's bring it slightly back to normal. And let's lower the pitch... Uh, sorry, the formant by one. Good morning. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days in compliance with state and federal regulations. Okay, the formant's too low. I kind of had it right in my natural tone, I think. Uh, the 50. You have been in suspension for 50. When he says 50, it kind of goes high. Okay, so it's nearly there. Uh, we'll bring some of the humanity back. Good morning. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days in compliance with state and federal regulations. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. And there you have it. That's... Kind of close, I guess. Uh, again, mellow. <clears throat> There's actually... I believe the actual lines f the, in the game, they increase the tempo slightly. So... If we bring it back into Audacity and go to Effect, Change Tempo, and let's just increase it by 10%. Good morning. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days in compliance with state and federal regulations. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. So I guess the only real issue here is pitch at the moment. I could lower the pitch slightly, uh, give it a slight bass boost, and... Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days in compliance with state and federal regulations. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically. It's actually slightly too fast. So bring the tempo back by five. And I'll save that as announcer final for now. Next. Defect. This is very similar to the announcer, where crisp, again, snap, uh, drag the formant, uh, sorry, the pitch modulation down to so make it robotic and defective. Uh, we want to bring everything down. And then we want to raise the formant slightly. And it should sound... You, uh, you got any bullets? Okay, too high. You, uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? More robotic. You, uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? Bang! Ah, crap. Shooting blanks all the time. <laughs> 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 oh dear. That is not good for my throat. <clears throat> you can't fire me. I quit. You. Uh... 
You can't fire me. I quit. You uh. So some of these are too high. If I lower mm. them a bit. You can't fire me. I quit. You uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? You uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? Dang. Ah, crap. Shooting blanks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay, so that's somewhat close. Increase the tempo by five. You uh, you got any bullets? Are the bullets up there? Dang! Ah, crap! Shooting blanks all the time. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. That is not good for my throat. <clears throat> you can't fire me. I quit. And that is pretty much the defective turret. Um, obviously, the recording wasn't perfect, and you could use a little bit of tweaking, but you get the general idea. Fact. Fact is pretty much the same. Ooh. Fact is edited in pretty much the same way as the defective turret. So you flatten the modulation a bit, drag it everything down a few notes, raise the formant slightly. Fact, 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 fact. You are about to get us killed. Fact, you are about to get us killed. Fact, you are about to get us killed. Fact. You are about to get us killed. Fact. Bring back a little pitch. Fact. You are about to get us killed. Fact. 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 You are about to get us killed. The first person to discover that cow's milk was drinkable was very, very thirsty. There's actually an optional step we can take to make it sound even closer to the actual voice. Uh, Valve basically added a a sort of radio distortion filter effect to the defective core voices um, so here's the best take of the fact core I believe fact you are about to get us killed the first person to discover that cow's milk was drinkable was very very thirsty so we're gonna bring this out uh, override the melodyne and so this is a completely optional step and you know there's other software you could do this with but I'm going to be using Reason. Now this is the music making software that I use to make all my songs and music but of course it also has a lot of filters and distortion and instrumental effects so what I'm going to do is file import and I'm just going to browse to the vocal, fact, mellow. There it is. Fact, you are about to get us killed. So there's a filter in Reason called, uh, if I select it, go to create effect, all effects, vocoder, and Wawa vocoder. Uh, it needs some tweaking. So that's the preset I made a while ago. Fact, you are about to get us killed. The first person to discover that cow's milk was drinkable was very, very thirsty. And as you can hear, it kind of has that slight radio effect that the Fact Core actually has. Um, this is probably a little bit overdone, but let's export this. So lastly, the fact core is always slightly sped up, so 5% tempo, and I'm just going to lower the pitch by 2%. Fact, you are about to get us killed. The first person to discover that cow's milk was drinkable was very, very thirsty. And there you go, fact core. Space is literally the same editing as fact, I believe. So... 
flatten the pitch, leave it as crisp. I want to raise the formant slightly and bring everything down. Space. Space. Guilty. What's your favorite thing about space? Mine's space. Guilty. Space cups. Here come. Space. What's your favorite thing about space? Mine's space. Guilty. Space cups. Here come space cups. Space cups. Here come space cups. Guilty of being in space. So again, this just needs the radio filter, really. Um. So I'm going to throw this into my preset. Favorite thing about space? Mine space. Guilty. Space cups. Here comes space cups. Space cups. Here comes space cups. Guilty. Being in space. Dad. Dad. Yes. I'm proud of you, son. Lovely. <laughs> space. So after the reason radio filter and a two percent pitch increase, you get this. What's your favorite thing about space? Mine space. Space cups. Here comes space cups. Guilty of being in space. Dad. Yes. I'm proud of you, son. Lovely. Space. Space. So, yeah, the radio effect is a little bit overdone, but if that was tweaked slightly, I'd say that was fairly close. Not too bad. And lastly, I saved this one for last because it probably won't sound very good. But GLaDOS. Ah, yes. So, edit pitch. Uh, lower the modulation, keep it somewhat human. Uh, set this to smooth for a more feminine tone. Let's lower the formant by one and see how that sounds. Oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. Okay, that sounds very masculine. Let's raise it by a tiny bit. Oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Still, I think we can put our differences behind us for science. Okay, sometimes it messes up the uh, the note, so it's put this D minor or whatever that is. Uh, it should be in this D minor. I don't know why it does that, but I think we can put our differences behind us for science. You monster. Okay, uh, raise the formant by one notch. Oh. It's you. I've been really busy being dead. Let's make it slightly more robotic. Oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Still, I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. Oh. That's actually not shockingly bad, I guess. Considering. Let's have a quick play with it in Audacity. Uh, GLaDOS. Whoops. <clears throat> oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Still quite noisy. I didn't denoise this one enough, so I'm going to select a noisy bit and denoise it. Oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Still, I think we can put our differences behind us for science. You monster. So, <laughs> Apart from my really British sounding... For science. For science. Right. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, that's not actually too bad. I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but... Oh, it's you. I've been really busy being dead. Eh, what you gonna do? I'm a guy. I'm not Ellen McLean. <clears throat> so yeah, I believe that's all of them. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you learned something from this. If you have any further questions or suggestions on things you'd like to know or learn, please don't hesitate to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> to leave comments and let me know. And as a little bonus, this is Carol of the Turrets inside Reason. So this is how and where I built it. So here are the instruments. And these are all the vocal tracks. Yeah, you get the idea. So I hope you learned something. I will probably make a full tutorial on music production like this as well at some point. Well, maybe not a tutorial, but I'll show how I work and how I do it, I guess. So, I'll see you all in the next video very soon. Goodbye.